Fitzgerald R4 class is a class of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers constructed for the United States Navy. This class of aircraft carriers is named after former U.S. President Gerald R. Ford. All ships of this class has a displacement of 100,000 long tons and a length of 333 meters. They can all carry more than 80 aircraft. There are expected to be 10 ships of this class. To date, five have been announced. Let's have a look on all the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carriers that have been announced. USS Gerald R. Ford CVN-78 She is the lead ship in a class of aircraft carriers for the U.S. Navy. She is intended to be the first of a class of aircraft carriers that will outperform the previous Nimitz class. The ship is named after Gerald Ford, the 38th President of the United States, who served in the Navy during World War II and saw combat aboard the light aircraft carrier Monterey in the Pacific Theater. The USS Enterprise CVN-65, which had served for 51 years, was replaced by this aircraft carrier. Gerald R. Ford was delivered to the Navy on 31st May 2017 and formally commissioned by President Donald Trump on 22 July 2017. The Navy announced that the carrier will sail on her first deployment sometime during 2022. As of 2017, she is the world's largest aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever constructed in terms of displacement. USS John F. Kennedy, CVN-79 She was the United States Navy's second Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier. On the 29th of October, the ship was launched and on the 7th of December, it was christened. The ship was named after John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. John F. Kennedy was originally planned to be completed in 2018, but this was extended to 2020 after Secretary of Defense Robert Gates announced in 2009 that the program would shift to a five-year building program so as to place it on a more fiscally sustainable path. This carrier is scheduled to commission in 2024. Enterprise USS CVN-80 She will be the third aircraft carrier of the Gerald R. Ford class built for the U.S. Navy. She will be the ninth U.S. naval vessel and the third aircraft carrier to bear the name, and she is expected to enter service in 2028. Her construction began with a steel-cutting ceremony in August 2017. CVN-80 is being built by Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding in Newport News, Virginia. Enterprise will replace USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. The keel was laid on 5th April 2022, making the ship about 13% complete and is scheduled to be launched in November 2025 with a planned delivery date of March 2028. USS Doris Miller, CVN-81 she is a future Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier of the United States Navy. She is scheduled to be laid down January 2026, to be launched on October 2029 and commissioned in 2032. The ship, named for Messman's second class Doris Miller, is the first aircraft carrier named for both an enlisted sailor and an African-American person. The ship will be the second to honor Miller, who received the Navy Cross for his actions during the attack on Pearl Harbor, the first ship being the USS Miller. Lastly, we have the CVN-82. The CVN-82 is yet to be named and it is the fifth Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier built for the United States Navy. The ship is scheduled to be laid down in 2027, to be launched in 2032, and commissioned in 2036. This carrier might be installed with steam catapults and it will incorporate new technologies. It might be equipped with laser weapons too. And that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.